Christmas is all about love and peace, which Islam has zero of it. ...who celebrate Christmas and New Year's. Well, this is not Islamic. Celebrating the feasts of non-Muslims is totally prohibited and a major sin. The Prophet, and, and don't listen to those from America or from Europe who dilute things and say, oh, it's a cultural thing now, it's not a religious thing. Yeah, and going to the church and doing this is not uh, uh, religious anymore, it's, it's cultural. What is this? They are playing with Allah's religion and the social media is helping them. And the ignorant who follow them are also helping them. Akhi, we go back to the real scholars. Leave them, Tom, Dick and Harry, these wannabe scholars, leave them alone. Go to the real scholars of Islam. Go to Sheikh Islam bin Taymiyyah, go to the Sheikh Imam Mujaddid Muhammad Abdul Wahab, go to Sheikh bin Baz ibn Ithameen al-Albani. These guys know what they're talking about. You will notice he did not say go to Muhammad. He says go to this scholar, go to this scholar, go to this scholar. And this guy, when you watch his video in the beginning, it says he charged $100 for everyone. How much? How much? $100 for half hour. Islam is about money and business. Muhammad himself, he refused to speak to anybody unless he paid him first. It's in front of you. PayPal, Asim Al-Hakim, $100 half hour. How much you own me, people? How many half hour I spend with you in the last 20 years? This is Islam. What they are teaching, that we are Muslims and we hate everything. We are hateful people. We are a religion of hate. We have to hate Christmas. But they claim that they believe in Isa. They claim that they celebrate Jesus. They claim that Isa is one of their favorite prophets, for sure, after Muhammad. Yet, if you celebrate Isa's birthday, the Muslims are upset. Do you see the hypocrisy? Do you see how evil this garbage cult? So in one hand, just to convert you into Islam, they say to you, we celebrate Isa. We believe in Isa. We respect Isa. So why are you upset for people celebrating the birth of Isa? Hmm? If you Muslims believe, how come Muslims they celebrate the birth of Muhammad? If the Messiah is a prophet for you, and the Christians celebrating the birth of the Messiah who is supposed to be a prophet for you. What's your problem? A new Muslim celebrate the birth of Muhammad, which is very funny, by the way, because Muhammad's birth date, because Muhammad, he screwed the calendar, the Arabian calendar, is the most funny birthday ever. Sometime it's in January, sometime in December, sometime in February, sometime in March, sometime in August, sometime in September, sometime in October, you go around the year. You can go right now and search, and you will find what I'm talking about. So they are against Christmas only. Why? Because the Christmas will take Muslims out of Islam. Islam is anti-Christ. Otherwise, Muslims should not be upset from a Christmas because, okay, Jesus is supposedly a, a Muslim prophet. And what's wrong with celebrating Muslim prophet? Birthday. The problem is that Muslim kids, they love a Christmas. And when they grow up, they have something missing in their life. Where is our Christmas? How come Islam could not bring joy to us? What is a Muslim holiday? I remember when I was a kid, I used to see it as the most disgusting, silly thing. The kids, they go play with the swine. That's it. And then go to food. It's a day where you eat a lot of meat. This is what the Muslim do. And that's it. Same time, if we go to the stupid Quran, we will find Muhammad copying from the Bible. Anyone can tell me this is coming from where? Which verses in the Bible is saying that? Anyone can help me? Look, look, Muhammad the thief. They claim that they are against Christmas, yet their stupid God Allah himself is stealing the Old Testament, Aka Muhammad, stealing from the Old Testament, the celebration of God, the true God, not their God, our God. 
our God, sending his angels to who? To Mary. And supposedly now Allah himself talking to Mary. Oh Mary, Allah give thee glad tidings. Do you see it? This is the Christmas and the Quran. The God of the Muhammad and himself celebrating the birth of a Christ. It's in the front of you. Did Allah send angels to mother of Muhammad to say to her, hey, listen, you will have a Abdul, his name is Muhammad, and he's so good in sex. However, it's not true. He was imagining himself. How come Allah did not send an angel to the mother of Muhammad to announce the good news? In fact, in Arabic it says, يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَالِمِتٍ مِنْهُ يُبَشِّرُكِ He is telling you like a bush, a bushra in Arabic is the same as the word uh, uh, gospel. Good news. Like happiness. This is what the word bushra mean. Happiness, happiness. The Messiah, when he come to this earth, he brought happiness. Not a child molester like Muhammad. This is chapter 3, verse number 45. And you will notice here, it says that what is the good news? The good news is the word of God. Isn't it what Muhammad here is saying, what it says in the book of John? In the beginning it was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. You see the thief? Church of later day saints. Yeah, those aren't Christians, those are Mormon. The Bible says clearly, let anyone bring other than the scriptures, let him be cursed. So those are cursed, false Christians. <coughs> Christians is those who believe in the scriptures we have, nothing else. The second you bring other books, you are no Christian. This is number one. Number two, Christians is those who believe that only the disciple of Jesus are qualified to deliver to us the word of God. The rest, they can explain it. The rest, they can teach it. The rest, they can, you know, like preach it. But they cannot make it. So anyone he brought to us other than this scripture, let him be cursed, the Bible said. So after the disciple of Jesus, there's no scriptures. That's it. Everything has been said there. This is why when this filthy Pope, he said blessing to the same sex marriage, this person is cursed for this is against the scriptures and this false Pope is making his own false satanic scriptures. It's obvious now. Before we used to suspect about him that he is devilish. Now it's obvious that he is the devil himself. And this is why we have to be vigilant. It's not about somebody who became a priest and then we listen to him and we accept what he say. No. It doesn't matter if he's a big priest, small priest. If he's a bishop, if he's a pope, it doesn't matter. From their fruits you shall know them. Going back to our topic. Jeremiah 10 saying the, 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 the creating a tree. What does this have to do with our topic? In Jeremiah, my friend, if, in case you know how to read, he's speaking about people worshiping trees. Are you, an, are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? Do we Christians worship trees? Hey, Christians, do you worship trees? Here you see how stupid some people are. They claim that they understand the book of God. So what they go, they say, it says there they celebrate a tree, and they, but they are worshiping the tree. They say they're God. So you are misquoting, you idiot. What does this have to do with this? And by the way, as long you are against decorating something can you forbid your wife from putting lipstick for one second because maybe you worship her too because you kiss her 
Hmm? Can you ask your wife to stop using makeup so she will look real? And let us see how much you will like her after that. She is decorating herself. Can you ask her to stop buying new dresses and a new lingerie to please you? Are you worshiping your wife now? Do you put a Christmas light in your wife so she will be like LED women? People are silly and people are so dummy. What does this have to do with our Christmas? They go and they take a verse, you know, those who they are antichrist, they take a verse from the Bible saying, see, the pagan used to do that. No, we are not doing what the pagan do. In fact, we destroy paganism. They used to worship the sun, we worship Jesus. They used to worship trees, we worship Jesus. We are the one who destroy paganism. <laughs> so here we see that the Messiah, he brought happiness and joy, and that is a Christmas. And then somebody will say to you, what about Santa Claus? What's wrong with Santa Claus? He's a real person. He makes children happy. He was a saint. He gave from his money to make poor kids happy. Are you against that? This is from very spirit of Christmas. If we could not make children happy, so what we do in this earth? Hmm? In case you do not know, Santa Claus is a real person, and he was a good man. He's not a fiction story. Now, for sure, stories are coming from the chimney and those things. Who cares about those stuff? So all our Christmas is about something good and doing good. They hate Christmas. Christmas is their enemy. For when Christ, he come to this earth, the sky opened. Angels came down. God, he spoke for one reason. Christmas is coming to town. And this is the book of the devil himself, Muhammad. Copying from the our book that the angels of God come in and delivering message to Mary about the amazing news and what this Messiah will do. And look, this Messiah is not only he's born, he's born with no human intervention. It must be a great reason. Here Mary in the Quran, she said, well, how am I going to have, oh Allah, how am I going to have a baby when no man, no man touch me? Do you see it? So what is special about this person? Everybody is born of a woman, is born of sex. Everybody. You, me, Moo Moo, anyone. Why the Messiah is born? You know the Quran says to you, the similarity between Isa and uh, Adam, Allah said to them, be and was. And then we check, we find neither Adam, Allah said to him, be and he was. And neither Isa, Allah, he said to him, be and was. Which is proven the Quran to be made by a fraud, an idiot, who do not know what he's talking about. <laughs> Same time, Adam is not born, you idiot. 